What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video. Before we get started, I just wanted to let you know that this video is being sponsored by Coding Dojo. If any of you guys are looking to career switch or simply just get into the coding industry, Coding Dojo is one of the best boot camps that you guys could sign up for. It's a 14 week program and they offer both full-time and part-time options. So it caters to any schedule that you currently have. They cover so much ground teaching you full stack development in three different stacks, which makes you a much more versatile candidate when it comes time for you to apply to different jobs. They don't only offer software development courses, but they also offer stuff in data science, cybersecurity, and even UI and UX design. If you act right now at the time of this recording and sign up before January 20th, you can hop into their next cohort starting on January 24th. If you need more information, Information or you want to check out the bootcamp for yourself, click the link below and you guys can check Coding Dojo out. But other than that, time to get into the video. I'm implementing way more of my streams into YouTube if you guys haven't noticed. And we've been having such a great time over there just hanging out, talking about code, making my mobile app that I also made a YouTube video prior that I'll link up here somewhere if you want to check it out. But if you also want to tune into some of my streams, check out my Discord and my Twitch channel down below in the descriptions. And you guys guys can get notified of when I go live. I'm making it more frequent on there. So if you guys want to check it out, definitely check it out. But anyways, let's get into it. We have a topic today. Chat, we're going to talk about how you're get, how people are going to get their first jobs in 2022. Since the new year is coming up, I want to give out advice, tips, and anything someone, an individual can do if they're coming up as self-taught or even coming out of school or boot camp can do to get their first dev job. And it, it doesn't really matter where in the stack they are, just overall your first tech job, because as most of us know in the chat, it's really, really hard to get your first spot, right? Chase, you, you know as well as much as I do that that first position, there were so many no's leading up to that. There was just so much rejection and doubt, not only from yourself, but from other people as well. Being self-taught, like having no credibility. I didn't have a college degree. I didn't go to a boot camp. Like I didn't do any of those things. So trying to get your first position is just suffice it to say a pain in the ass. Over 700 plus jobs applied. Uh, agreed, dude. Like it's, it's wild. It's wild how many jobs I, I probably have applied to and either got ghosted or just got rejection emails almost immediately. Or it took like six months, I remember, for uh, Cloudinary to reply to me and say, hey, we're not going with you. And I was like, I have a job already. Why? It took six months for you to reply to me and just say no. I think this video is going to come out at a perfect time for any of you guys that are watching this on YouTube because a lot of companies' fiscal years are going to restart on January 1st and we're put, publishing this out before Christmas and before the new year, this gives you time to prep and think about what it is you can do to put yourself in a better position. But I think there's a lot of videos out there and I, I'm sure everyone in the chat can kind of attest to this too, of tips and tricks on how to get your first dev job. And it's very, very like linear in terms of what the tips are given, right? So it's always essentially the same thing. And I don't wanna go that route. I don't wanna say like, hey, you should do this. This is your roadmap to becoming a software engineer in 2022. There's some different aspects I wanna go about and I think something else you should also focus on, especially if you've, you know, if you're already been self teaching yourself for a while, you've been building projects, you have a portfolio, or you've gone out of a boot camp and now you're stuck and you're like, now what? Or you're graduating, you know, as most of us are, or most of you guys are doing that are in school now, getting ready for your winter break and now you're looking for jobs. I think that the, what I'm about to say is probably going to be helpful. And I don't know if you've heard it, you probably have, honestly, but I just want to reinstate it and make it more apparent that this is what you should be doing when looking for that first position because as we've been saying and prefacing it's really hard and i think the way that you go about this is going to make it a lot easier and the main thing that i think that is going to help anybody whether you're self-taught or not is networking i think that's the one and num number one thing that you should be focusing on <laughs> that was not just said it three network 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 again not sending a follow-up message really hurts you pick three jobs you actually want and actually think you would be a candidate for then look up someone hiring manager or dev and reach out to them start a conversation with the sole purpose of just expanding your network of people who code surround yourself with people in the positions you want exactly but we're on the same wavelength so point three that he's making is exactly what i wanted to talk about it was just networking right i found out through my experience through applying 
cold to a bunch of job listings on LinkedIn or Indeed or wherever other job listing websites there are. I cold applied and had and knew nobody going in. I was just a fresh candidate, but like, again, my resume had no leverage. I, as an individual, had no leverage. I hadn't had a job in coding before. So it was really hard to kind of step into that role and get a yes or even get an interview. I think networking is something that you should spend a lot of time doing even when you have a job currently. I say spend your time, yes, prepping for interviews and things like that, that's great, but also networking is going to help a ton. So imagine, right, you go to virtual uh, networking events or you're on Twitter, which is a really great, great platform for you to be on to network with a bunch of hiring managers or just other devs in the industry, posting your content on Twitter and you're posting your portfolio, your projects, you're spreading knowledge that you've learned, making yourself known on Twitter. And then eventually like some devs get notice you and you start talking with them. Now you have an in, right? You're not using them essentially, but in, in, theoretically you kind of are. You're building, you're building a relationship and a network of people. So that way when you're ready, to apply, you have someone that works at a company you possibly want to work for that can say, hey, you've seen my work, you've seen my portfolio, you know, I know my stuff. Do you guys have positioning? Do you, do you guys have positions, open positions, any roles that I, you think I would fit in? That is when referrals would come in. And I think that is going to be the best way for you to almost guarantee at least an interview. And that's the main thing here, especially for those of you guys who are watching that are self-taught. Getting an interview is really hard. <laughs> Right? Getting someone, getting a recruiter or a hiring manager to reply to you to even get an opportunity to interview when you have no coding experience and no college degree or boot camp experience, it's almost like it's just it's just really difficult. It's really difficult to get that first interview. So to guarantee that, you know, I'm not guaranteeing a job, right? Obviously, this isn't a guarantee, but I can almost always guarantee that you will at least get a screening or an interview if you networked with someone and they gave you a referral. That will almost always happen. And I think that's something that you should focus on is again, network, network, network. That is the name of the game. And I don't believe that anyone should be cold applying to any job listings. I think that's trash. In my opinion, that's trash, right? Obviously you could do it. If you have a college degree and all this stuff on your resume, it would work. But for those of us that don't, we need a different way. I think for the rest of my life, if I'm applying to any jobs, I'm only doing it through referrals. I am only ever doing it through referrals. It is the name of the game. It's who you know and what you know. It's both, but namely, and more importantly, it's who you know. Who you know, there's built-in rapport and you, they can go to the hiring manager and be like, yo, I know this guy. He, he knows what he's doing. He's good at what he does. And you should give him a shot. That way, when you get into the interview, you just have a much more guaranteed shot of landing it. So getting your first job in 2022 is all going to be predicated on who you know and you should be spending a lot of time with networking go on twitter network with a bunch of people instagram youtube twitch anything any social platform where you know that there's a community of other developers network 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 it is huge right now especially if you're going to start doing this with the holidays it's going to be hard with the holidays since people are off but if you can find people that are still working or in january grind all the way through january and network as much as you can while prepping for interviews doing your lead code all all that stuff, I think that's going to benefit you the most. It is going to benefit you the most and it's going to help you have a better chance landing your first spot in 2022. You know, add on all the other tips and tricks that people post in those, you know, roadmaps for being an engineer and tips on how to get your first job. Those are great. I think those are good. I've done one of these before last year, I think, and I, I'm changing it up, right? I think we all know what it is that we have to do in order to learn code and, and do, do the, th do the do essentially, right? I feel now Networking is never really talked about too much. Networking is an underdog, to be honest. It's the underdog that not a lot of people do and are scared of doing because then you have to talk to people and a lot of people are introverts such as myself. So it's hard. Networking is hard, especially if you don't know how to do it correctly. But if you do it right and you show people your skills and you show them what you know, the interview process is going to be easy. It's not going to be easy, but you'll you'll get more opportunities a lot easier when you do it with networking. So that'll be my number one tip for you guys going into 2022. For those of you guys who are self-taught is network. I've probably said network like 67 times in however long this video is going to be, but you got to do it.
you have to do it the opportunities are almost endless here when you know people it started as i started putting myself out there on twitch on twitter and stuff like that like people asked if i wanted to join that's essentially how i got my job here at plaid is i networked and networked and networked and someone finally saw my work and was like hey come work here like i'll help you i'll get you a referral boom here we are, right? It's the credibility that's huge. Like if you if you go in the mind of recruiters and hiring managers, if someone internally is representing and saying, hey, I like this guy, you should look at him. There, you have way more of a chance of being actually looked at. So you essentially get stacked up into the queue. You get pushed up as opposed to someone who's just cold applying. They stay at wherever they applied and that's that. Like they'll, they'll get to them when they get to them. But when you are, when you're pushed in from someone internally, that's the, that's the bread and the butter right there. That's the bread and the butter. But yeah, I think uh, that is something you should definitely be focusing on in the new year. I think you should put an emphasis on networking. Uh, I think you guys will see a, a tenfold like flip in the dynamic and how things are going to turn out for you if you focus on networking. Chat, spam, sub to chow. I need you guys to spam it. Sub to chow. Sub to chow in the chat so YouTube can see it. There you go. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, YouTube, you know the drill. Chat's telling you to sub. Make sure you guys hit that sub button if you guys want more of these. Like I said at the beginning of the intro, I'm going to be implementing way more of my Twitch into my YouTube videos. If you guys want to check us out here on Twitch and have a good time, we have a good uh, environment going on where we just code and do all that stuff. So if you guys want to join in on that, then definitely check out my Twitch channel. It'd be the link in the description. But aside from that, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in another video. Peace.